Miss World is an event. Right. It's a uh, doctor is a career. I want films that challenge me, that help me grow. I want to work with directors that bring out the best in me. I, I think films are a director's medium. Yes, there's a lot of hard work that an actor has to put in. Never did I ever think that I would be here sitting talking to you in this wonderful gown with this wonderful backdrop at such a big film festival. Thank you. Uh, has it been what you imagined it would be or is it something else altogether? What surprised you? Um, I think uh, I always thought it would be really busy. It would be uh, that be uh, it would be chaotic because there's so much going on and really exciting. There were so many people on the streets. So as someone who's watched, uh, you know, people go on the red carpet and, you know, things happen uh, at the film festival. A lot of it was expected. What was not expected was a very funny thing. I thought the carpet would be much bigger <laughs> and much longer than what it looks like uh, on camera. But uh, I think it was very, very close to what I expected. It was as exciting and uh, my expectations were really high with the festival. And uh, it really, I think it was even better than how I had imagined it to be. And uh, listen, the sun has come out for you. When the, the day I landed, it was yeah. like gloomy and cloudy. And, and here we are in the bright sunshine. You know, you talked about that carpet. It's, it is its own sort of performance. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, how did you prep for it? And is it truly scary when you're just about to step on? You know, the best part about it is it's like 30 seconds. <laughs> That's right. Of what you can give and what you can get. And they're so quick. So you don't get the time to even realize what just happened. Uh, but having said that, uh, a lot of Miss World training helps <laughs> because you've done these international carpets and you know that they're quick and uh, you know it's, it's a quick few seconds in and out. Um, at the same time, you try, as you're trying to make the most of it, I don't think uh, there was a lot of prep for it. I think the prep was more with my team and like making sure that I look presentable and that's it in 30 seconds. Just something happened and I have no idea what happened. But something happened and I got some good pictures. So I think that, that that's all. Job that there well was done. It. Yeah, job well done. Speaking of this world, yeah. your journey has been so sort of incredible. You're, you're a, you were a medical student, yeah. right? Yes. Then at 20, you're Miss World. Yeah. Then you're a Bollywood actor making your debut in this how unpredictable how unpredictable <laughs> in this massive that is being sarcastic <laughs> but, no, but yes no, but sure the, the Miss World to Bollywood yeah, yeah. Is, is the is the yeah but generally route. generally yeah correct but this you know at one point you're studying to be a doctor your parents are doctors yeah. and then the Miss World yeah <laughs> you know what's been the hardest part of sort of processing this I think just generally processing it. I remember everything happened so quick. And even though for the world, it looked like overnight popularity and overnight success in a certain form. For me, it was a prep for so many years because Miss World was the biggest dream I ever had. And... Uh, right, because you said, mm -hmm. you said that everyone thought I wanted to be a doctor and this happened, but actually you wanted to do this and the doctor thing happened. See, Miss World is an event. Right. It's a uh, doctor is a career. Uh, you know, so I always knew that Miss World was a platform which uh, would teach me and ex like, as an experience it would add value to whatever I do later. I always thought that I would go back and become a doctor like, I mean, I grew up in a family of doctors. I grew up around uh, children, around siblings, uh, around people who would grow up and would be like, okay, we have to go to college, we either have to study law or medicine or engineering. Uh, or if we don't get into these three, then that's okay. You can always do an MBA later or prepare for the civil services. <laughs> but I think that's the mentality mentality that I grew around. Um, so I always enjoyed being on stage. I enjoyed performing, but I always considered it to be a hobby. And I never thought I'd make a career out of it. Um, after Miss World, I was very pleasantly surprised. And the one uh, difficult thing probably would, would have been the fact that uh, just adjusting to a new life, because I'd never been exposed to any of this. No one from my family was even closely related to, forget the film industry, they were not even closely, closely related to Bombay as a city. So moving to a new city, having your parents move to the new city with you, and you know, all of us as a family adjusting to a new environment, uh, you know, the, the work culture is very different. My parents are very nine to five, 
uh, kind of people and you know they're home and they're, they're sipping their tea together they go to the gym together so it's it's a very organized in a uh, in a life full of uh, with with a very fixed routine which is not the case with you know what happened after so i think just adjusting to the new life um, of course things changed suddenly i was popular and as fun as it sounded it was also a little overwhelming just a little uh, so that i mean just adjusting to it was probably the one you know difficult thing but yeah. you know you brought the crown back after 17 years right yeah. uh, Priyanka was was the last one yeah. and then you bring the crown back and then you have this year of you know just this euphoric high you travel you meet people and then your first film you it takes a long time to release obviously yeah. the whole world goes through a long situation time. <laughs> you know yeah. and you're this newcomer who's yeah. who's waiting to kind of have this come out into the world mm-hmm. and then when it does it underperforms you know as somebody who's coming from outside the business how do you process that like the hurt of that and just say to yourself no this is this is the ups and downs of this career you know anupama i i'll say two things about this the first thing is life has really spoiled me um personally whatever i wanted from life i think life has given me more for which i'm very very grateful never did i ever think that i would be here sitting talking to you in this wonderful gown with this wonderful backdrop <laughs> you know at a, at at, a, at such a big film festival so life has given me a lot which i'm really grateful for but having said that it has spoiled me and my expectations from life obviously were a lot more and things were really going my way you know with miss world with everything i did that year with with the first film that i signed you know signing a film with yashraj was a was a big Massive. big deal yeah yeah um and having and the kind of Kumar. cast that uh, yeah. that it did so i was obviously very excited and uh, you know everything was like working my way and that's the thing about life you know nothing works your way but of course you know the pandemic happened so uh, there was a little bit of uh, you know impatience and of course you know as, as a human i know i worked really hard for that film and for someone who had never done anything like this i, I know how much hard work that i i, I put in but uh, it it didn't work which is something which i had no control over so uh, there was a little bit of disappointment but at the same time luckily because i'm a normal girl who comes from a normal family you know i used to always tell myself this in the pandemic that big deal you know people don't even get to do that one film <laughs> so it's not that that film's not going to release it's just going to release later but i used to always think that you know i'm still getting so much more than what i thought i would from life so that gratitude is always there so it's a mixed mixture of both you know so i try to balance it out so you're a glass half full person i like to be uh, i make an effort to be a glass half full person it's very easy to slip on to the other side yeah and now you you know you of course got tehran with john yeah. and you signed a Varun Tej film uh, at this point manishi are you looking to sort of have more commercial success or are you looking for projects that will establish the actor see a little bit of both um that's ideal yeah. right <laughs> a yes. little bit of both i know i need the presence i know i need uh, i need the kind of reach a commercial project would have so i am very grateful that i've gotten those platforms but at the same time because if i am here and i'm doing this as an actor i want to do justice to the fact that i've gotten this opportunity and i want to be good at what i do uh i am very competitive internally i compete a lot with myself and if i'm not getting better and if i don't feel like i'm doing a good job i internally would not be happy so i want films that challenge me that help me grow i want to work with directors that bring out the best in me i think films are a director's medium yes there's a lot of hard work that an actor has to put in but at the end of the day it's the director's vision that you know the way the director presents you a lot depends on that and i've had a great relationship with all the directors that i've worked with a very student teacher uh, relation are you very student like on set i am very student like on set i have to say that i think hence i've had a good relation with all the directors that i've worked with but uh, having said that a little bit of both uh, is what you know would probably be my strategy <laughs> with whatever little information i have in my head <laughs> Yeah, let's let's be greedy. Let's yeah, ask for it. Yeah, let's be greedy. Why not? Why not? Why not? Absolutely. Uh, what are you most looking forward to here? And and do, would you, if you bumped into someone, get starstruck, or are you beyond that? The funny thing is, because I grew up so far away from films, I never. I don't think I was someone who followed the film industry a lot. 
So even when you know I met everyone after winning Miss World, so probably in my head I was already you know uh, I'd already oh I've seen this done that, uh, but uh, I don't think I ever got starstruck. Uh, but I have to say, I when I remember the very first time I met our Prime Minister Narendra Modi, uh, you know, outside of the fact, of course, you think you're meeting this really important person. Um, he's very warm and cordial and very humble, uh, but he has an aura. He has an aura. His aura is what I, I felt it. Yeah. And what about Can? What did you see anybody on the red carpet last night, or while you were walking through? You were, you were like, oh my god, wow. I mean, Michael Douglas was there. Michael Douglas was there. was there. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But I think they arrived after oh. I walked. So, unfortunately, I couldn't see anyone in person. You are obviously, like you said, not somebody who's from the business, who grew up far away from it. How do you hone, because you're learning on the job. So, yeah. how do you hone your artistry? You know, what do you do uh, to get better as an actor? is a combination again of a lot of things. Um, a, for me, you know, uh, the first thing that I started doing was watching films. And not just at home. I used to go to a theatre every every week, at least I used to go and watch one film, uh, whether I like it, whether I don't like it. And I started noticing things like, you know, normally as an audience, you just probably see how the actors are looking, or you probably look at the story, you enjoy the music. but. I realized as I started preparing for my film, and I had a long time to prepare for my first film. I had around eight and a half to nine months. So I think I took that time to watch a lot of movies uh, to understand, okay, you know, uh, there's a lot of costume, there's a lot of background score, uh, there's editing, which I understand now after my first film's release. I didn't understand it earlier. Um, so I think a little bit of homework on your own. Um, observation helps a lot. It helped me a lot during uh, my Miss World days. Um, at the same time, uh, you know, you have a lot of good teachers who, uh, you know, who kind of help you uh, create your own methods to get close to your character. And then you kind of have to figure out how it works for you. And most importantly, experience teaches you a lot. You know, the more you practice, uh, the, more you, uh, the more you shoot. I think with each film, I know internally I'm more comfortable with what I do. I understand, uh, you know, my job as an actor even better and and even for my if, if I were to look back at my first film Samrat with Firaj you know when I was watching uh, uh, the first edit of it I could see that the scenes that we shot for first versus the scenes we shot later you got better I internally could see that I was getting better yes. yeah. yeah how wonderful well good luck and, and thank you keep 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 at it keep getting better and have a great festival you've been watching FC at Cannes 2023 in association with Travel partner Air France, smartphone partner Google Pixel, beauty partner L'Oreal Paris, media partner NDTV and travel trend partner Skybags.